Someone made the rounds, handing scepters to the fools. Trained me how to rule, trained me how to be cruel. The serpent round my neck tells me when to speak. Squeezes out the anger, squeezes till I'm weak. And... So I just returned from Boston at the memorial that was held for the victims of the uh, bombing at the marathon. And there were a lot of people showed up to create a wall in case the Westboro Baptist Church arrived with their God hates you, God came to judge you signs. And that was a fantastic thing. Now the Westboro Baptist Church never arrived. And that's even better, though there's still a possibility they could arrive at some of the upcoming funerals for the victims of the... Uh, bombing. But I, I have a concern that perhaps we're just not radical enough in our thinking. And when I say radical enough, I mean, I don't mean that in a violent way. I mean that in a life-changing way. Sometimes when we respond to the people we disagree with, we respond to our enemies. We respond to our enemies with the same force and power or the same spirit with which they speak to us or act out upon us. And it seems to me that perhaps that's what's going on with the Westboro Baptist Church. Uh, Michel Foucault wrote in his book on the history of madness, he gave a history of the movement of the institutions that became the institutions that held the insane. It started in the Middle Ages as institutions for lepers, then it became institutions for those with sexually transmitted diseases, which later became institutions for the poor, and eventually became institutions for the mad or the insane. And he tracked that to show that there is a tendency for us to isolate people and to treat them as lepers. We seem to have a need as a society to find people and make lepers out of them. Now we feel as though the Westboro Baptist Church is making lepers out of everybody and treating us all as some kind of subclassification of humanity that needs to be cast aside and it's God who's going to cast us aside. But if our response is to treat them in the same manner, have we then become like our enemies? That's my concern, that we, as people, don't become like our enemies. So there are some people who don't like the idea of God hugs you or God hugs Boston um, as a response to God hates, as though it's somehow soft. It's not soft. It's actually overcoming our own fears, our own anger, in order to create something life-transforming. And that's at least the first thing I have to say about this. I don't want us to become like our enemies, and so we have to respond in an opposite spirit. Uh, love wins, and that's all I have to say for now, but I have more on this topic at another time, so God bless. Someone made the rounds, played me to the throne. The longer I was king, the longer I was owned. The serpent whispered wisely, opened up my eyes. The 